Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel RK Data Labs and today we are going to continue our AWS series and today we are into day number 7 and we are going to continue a new topic. Today we are going to see EMR. Okay. So what we are going to discuss on EMR, a new topic. What is EMR? How to create a cluster in EMR? What is the importance of having primary node, core node, task node in EMR cluster? And finally how to configure an auto termination facility for the EMR cluster which you are already created in order to save the money right so let's move on so now what we are going to see EMR right so what is EMR basically so EMR is a managed cluster where you can create your own cluster based on the requirement that you you know basically you are working on let's say you have a requirement to work on spark you want to install hive hbase scoop Maybe you can just take your data from an RDBMS and put it into HDFS and then play with Spark and you know you can do some kind of ETL using a Apache Hive. So for all these purpose you can simply create your own EMR cluster in your configuration. So what it will do internally is it will just go to EC2 instance. It will then spin up an EC2 instance with the configurations what we are going to set up and then it just simply gives you a new cluster. So that cluster can be managed by us we can install all the components we can play it we can then simply use it for our application purpose okay so that's why we have given a name called it is a managed cluster platform which has couple of things to work on okay so what are the advantages primary advantages of using EMR it's very very flexible in order to you know do your processing data scalable wise you can just simply add your nodes whenever required or you can even remove your nodes whenever not required and security wise all the data will be encrypted that's very important facility and cost effective so it's just like as like aws gives you and promises you pay as you go the moment and the time you use you just simply pay it if not don't pay anything to for the upfront cost and easy to use as we all know emr as a facility which will be very very upfront to use it accordingly and then the frequent applications are we are going to use for data warehousing purpose or any log analysis or machine learning or whatever so going back to under the slide so we have three basic components in our emr setup one is the master node that is simple it is just like acting as a master node a name node node so in our hadoop name node is basically used for configuration purpose or used to, to you know track all the metadata related information node so master node is definitely needed in an emr cluster at least one node primary master node second one core node core node will have all the you know software components maybe spark hive hbase flink pick and etc that actually runs the task as well as stores data in our hdfs also so basically it used to run as well as store so run plus store in core node third task node is simply you know it just runs the task and but does not store any data in hdfs so it will no more used for any storage purpose task node is optional whenever if you need to have it in your emr cluster you can simply have it so the minimum cluster availability is only two nodes one master node and one core node if required really you can add your task node accordingly maybe i've just given a glimpse of how the cluster configuration may be primary with m5.x large core with the same and task with the same so now I am going to create one simple EMR cluster for you that will be very helpful maybe I can I'm just now into AWS management console where you are going to see you know the EMR page so now we have couple of things at the left side of your explorer as usual EMR on EC2 EMR on EKS and EMR studio couple of things today we are going to simply create our own cluster that's very easy just create cluster option and then you can just simply give your cluster name i'm just giving a name called aws demo cluster now you will be prompted to select one emr release so this release have couple of releases with the amr iws facility so now if you just drill down all these options here you can see couple of emr releases maybe the latest version will be with the range of 6.x okay so i am not going to select any 6.x releases i am going to only select 5.x releases because latest releases will have couple of you know 
more and more advantages but it will expect more configuration wise so for our testing purpose let's not use more effectively with the latest one i'm just going to simply use the 5.x version so if you see here this is with 6.x so there are a couple of releases like 6 5 4 like that the latest is 6 i'm just simply going to use with 5.33.1 okay so for each and every release right it will show you like couple of options like this so these are basically the softwares which we are going to install we in the sense the emr going to create on its own so we just want to simply select the emr release for our purpose so for our demo purpose i am going to select 33.1 so now we have all these applications now what i am going to do i am going to specifically select some of the softwares to install so what i am going to do i can just simply select zookeeper uzi spark hbase hive pig and scoop and in addition to that zeppelin was already selected if not needed we can just remove it okay so i can just simply enable it and then what you are going to do these settings you can still use it let's say if you are going to store the metadata you can still use glue there is an option called aws glue since we have not seen glue we have not i'm not going to enable these two okay so since it is going to store the metadata in the hdfs itself so i'm not going to enable these options so hp store settings so I'm going to simply use the default option HDFS as a storage one. I'm not going to use any AMI ID because automatically there is a required AMI is there already in EC2 instance. So that will take care of everything. So cluster configuration, as I said, there are three things. One is a primary that is a master node. See, if you see here, as I selected 5.33, the 5.x.large. If you really don't need it, if you still use like compute or memory intensive or, you know, storage intensive you can still use or any select of these options so i'm not i'm just going to simply select the very basic capacity configuration machine okay so now this primary core node with the same option if you see here there is a 5.x lock if you still want to just enhance it you can just use a choice with some other ec2 instances as well so as i said before the third node right that's the task node. If not needed, you can just simply remove this instance group to make that your cluster with only two nodes. One is a master and the core node. So for my testing purpose, I just leave it as is. I'm going to have this task node that runs my task effectively. Okay. So now with this, I have three primary node that acts as a master. Second one is a core node and the third one is a task node. Okay. If, if needed, really, I can just simply add it. If, I, if it all required, right, I can just remove it. And then comes here, you know, the set cluster size manually you can just simply default use this option don't use this manage scaling or custom automatic scaling because emr clusters till the moment it keeps running it keeps generating the money when i say generating money you need to pay the money for the upfront usage of your application and the cluster okay so please don't ever use these two options please only use the default one Coming to networking, you still want to select the basic default settings like VPC, subnet, whichever you have configured previously. And then comes the cluster termination, very, very important one. You want to always don't select manually terminate. Please select automatically terminate cluster after idle time. So whenever there is no much interaction with the cluster, let's say we are working at 10 o'clock. If at, 10 at 11 o'clock, if there is no idle, maybe there is no much work is being carried out there is no jobs which is running in EMR cluster, which means it is an idle. The cluster is very idle, right? So it keeps checking for one hour completely. If there is no activity is there, automatically it will just terminate the cluster, which will be very useful for us. We don't want to take care anything manually. So that will in turn saves you money so that like you don't want to pay whenever you are not using the cluster. Okay. So these cluster logs optional one. So basically it just simply accumulates all the logins in a s3 it, maybe i can just show you here so this if you see here this is the bucket where it is going to store all our emr related logs so and then finally you have two more important things so you want to always create your key pair in order to log in your machine using ssh okay so i have already opened my ssh maybe i can just show you this is my ppk i have just downloaded it okay in the meanwhile let me go here and complete it so there are two roles which are very 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 important guys one is a service role so that i have already created one service role with emr test role maybe i can just show you so if we are into iam roles page so now if you see here i have selected a with 
relevant policy called Amazon EMR. Okay, so I'm just going to here. Yes, so I've just selected this EMR test role, and then you want to still one more role you want to select that is for EC2 instance profile. So in order to access EC2 instance via EMR, you want to select this role. So I'm just going to simply select EC2 demo role. Maybe I'll also show you that role as well. So which I, I have already created it. It's taking time. Just a minute. All right. So yes. So if you see here, there is a role called EC2 demo role with all the administration related EC2 all such roles are being added over here. So you want to keep in mind, you want to have two roles. One is for your EMR to run. That is the EMR test role. And the second one is EC2 demo role. That is to access your EC2 on behalf of EMR. So, okay. So you want to have two different roles. One is the EMR service role and the EC2 instance profile role for creating your EMR. Okay. And then you can, if you, even if you can simply, you can just do a cross check of what are all the things that you have configured here. Simply, it gives you all the summary information. So I'm just going to simply create my cluster. It is going to simply give me a new cluster now. So it has successfully created my cluster. If you can see this page, right? So it will show you the application cluster starting status. So now it will just start it and then it just bootstrap it. And then finally, it will show you me, you know, there is a word called waiting for cluster. Okay cluster is idle so you can just simply go and then make use of it accordingly based on your requirement so if you come down you can completely see all the summary information about what is your cluster id and what is the version of your emr and what is the status and when you got created and what is your capacity basically that's very important primary node core node and task node so if you come here there is a configurations page so the moment it gets completed it is still provisioning it keeps give you all such details like you know what are all the configuration related information like what is your core number of cores what is the memory what is the size and everything each and everything you can just simply get it okay and if you want to keep monitoring if you want to integrate your cloud watch you can just simply integrate it accordingly so maybe i'll just show you the ec2 primary All right. So if you're going to applications, you can see like a couple of applications are there. Like as you know, like whichever we have selected while creating your cluster, you have chosen all these things, right? You can just cross check HP, Spark, Hive, Scoop, Uzi, Zeppelin, Pick and Zuki. Okay. So still the cluster is getting ready. It may take maybe five to 10 minutes. Okay. The moment it get completed, you can completely view all the respective applications. It will give you a UI link as well. Maybe in this cluster management page, you can even see the Spark timeline server and as well as Yarn timeline server as well. Okay, maybe you let's see like, you know, in a couple of minutes, we will be seeing the respective URLs accordingly here. So this is the PPK file where you are to use this PPK file in order to log into your machine. So if you want to like connect your instances via SSH, you want to make use of this PP key, fine. So this cluster will take a couple of minutes. So let's wait for some time. Okay, now if you can see the status of the cluster, now the status showing us waiting. So the moment the status gets changed to waiting state, from starting to bootstrap to waiting, you can simply use all the respect to UIs accordingly. So now if I just go to this applications, you can able to see all the respect to UIs have been populated. Simply just click on it. You can just go to the HBase respect to UI, UI and URL accordingly. So even if you want to check the configurations, you can just, um, you know, simply 
check the status of all these machines like first one is a master node primary core node all these three are running so now successfully we have created our own emr cluster aws demo cluster with three machines in our cluster now we are able to play any you know kind of work that we are intended to use as per our use case or business requirement or whatever with this cluster in our own infrastructure so you don't want to worry about you know setting up your cluster remotely this aws gives you a promising emr that in turn gives you the flexibility to create your own cluster according to the requirement so with this we have come to the end of this session today we have hope we have seen something good about emr topic hope you have liked this video if you really like this video please do subscribe to my channel in my next aws series we will be seeing how to spin up ec2 instances in 5 minutes so thank you for watching this video have a nice day bye